Now let us move on to the next question that is question number 4. If x is between 0 and pi by 2 including 0 excluding pi by 2 then the number of values of x for which sin x minus sin 2x plus sin 3x is equal to 0. A trigonometric equation is given we have to find the solutions in the given interval a quite simple one. Let us start this question. I can say sin x plus sin 3x apply sin c plus sin d. So, it is 2 sin 2x cos x minus sin 2x is equal to 0. So, what are the possible factors here? We have sin 2x is equal to 0 or cos x is equal to half. Given interval is 0 to pi by 2 where pi by 2 is excluded. So, we have 2x is equal to 0, pi is not possible because that will give you x equals pi by 2 which is not included. Here you have x equals pi by 3 alone. So, there are just two solutions for this equation and the solutions are 0 and pi by 3. I am sure this question is clear to you. So, correct answer for this question is option number 1. Let us move on to the next question that is question number 5. If the system of linear equations is consistent, system of equations is consistent. So, let us understand this question writing the equations in matrix equation form 1 minus 4 7 0 3 minus 5 minus 2 5 minus 9 x y z is equal to g h k this is clear now, when you look at these equations, my objective is to make this element 0. So, what I need to do? R3 is replaced by R3 plus 2 R1. That gives us 1 minus 4, 7, 0, 3 minus 5. This becomes 0. Next, 8 minus 8 plus 5, that is minus 3. Next, 14 minus 9, that is 5 remaining terms are same that is x y z equals here also we write g h and then r 3 plus 2 r 1 meaning k plus 2 g I am sure this point is clear ok. Next what I need to do just add r 3 to r 2. So, r 3 is replaced with r 3 plus r 2 this is giving us 1 minus 4 7 0 3 minus 5 0 0 0 x y z and the right hand side has g h k plus 2 g plus h. Now, the system of equations is consistent. What is the constant required? Simply last row is 0. So, it has to be 0. The only constraint here required is the term k plus 2g plus h this must be 0. I am sure this is clear. So, let us look at the options given if we have k plus 2g plus h equals 0. Yes, k plus g it is not required k plus 2g plus h equals 0. Yes, it is given in option number 4. So, I am sure this question is clear how we get the correct answer for this question as option number 4. Let us move on to the next question now. The logical statement based on Boolean algebra negation of negation p or q or p and r and with negation q and r is equivalent to. Let us start by sending this negation sign inside correct. So, it is going to give me p and negation q this is clear or the same term p and r this is about the first bracket and negation q and r right. So, what we are going to get here by distribution of a or b and c we will get a and c or b and c this is clear when you talk about a and c what you will be getting p 
एंड नेगेशन क्यू एंड नेगेशन क्यू एंड आर और द सेकेंड टर्म सेकेंड टर्म इज पी एंड आर एंड नेगेशन क्यू एंड आर करेक्ट नाउ वेन यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस थिंग यू कैन सी पी एंड नेगेशन क्यू एंड नेगेशन क्यू एंड आर मीनिंग वी हैव पी एंड आर एंड नेगेशन क्यू वी कैन राइट आइदर वे नेगेशन क्यू हेयर और हेयर इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू मेक एनी डिफरेंस और सिमिलरली इन द अदर केस वी कैन सी पी एंड आर एंड नेगेशन क्यू so this is clear what we are getting here this term or the same term so let's look at the given options p and r and negation q that is option number 1 is the correct answer so let's mark and mention it i'm sure this question is clear let's move on to the next one that is question number 